Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be opening up another Funko Pop vinyl figure. This one from Mad Max Fury Road. 509. Max Rokotansky. Okay, let's take a look at it. In the movie, he was played by uh, Tom Hardy. Let's take a look at the box. One in a set of uh, seven, but with some of the Chase and the Hot Topic exclusive, it comes to about nine. I'm sure they'll have an another couple ones out soon enough. All right, there you have them. Now in this movie, uh, Mad Max really didn't have much to say. It was very quiet in this film. It was more Furiosa show. Uh, let's take a look at the figure. So, standard Funko eyes, standard Funko pyramid, pyramid nose, standard Funko drawn on eyebrows. We got a little bit of, uh, you know, scarring here, damage. That's actually drawn on as well, not textured, so you can't feel it. Uh, we got that, you know, scraggly hair cut that the uh, war boys give him. Here he's got his little pistol chromed out. And here he's got his, you know, famous jacket. Now, originally, uh, Mad Max, of course, was played by uh, Mel Gibson. But, of course, seeing how, how this is a se sequel, but, you know, kind of, kind of a soft reboot, uh, they did um, recast. And seeing that Mel Gibson's now in his 50s or 60s. So, let's take a look at the... Thing here looks like he's carrying a magazine there and there's a little pocket jack looks pretty cool you can tell it's been through a lot still has that little piece of armor here from you know the original film uh, we see him driving his interceptor in the beginning but like it's not in the film for a whole lot it's mostly you know just max being gruff and quiet through most of the film Two more pockets here in the back. Nice little wristband. Uh, I like what they did with the clothing. They really did pay a lot of attention to the um, weathering on the clothing. So the plastic is, or the vinyl is molded to look like it's, you know, been worn out. The shirt especially. Nothing much going on here with the boots. But, you know, standard stuff. I think, yeah. Uh, Mad Max did get injured, so yes, that's still there. And that injury from the previous film. Good atten attention to detail here on the boots. One has a little buckle-like mechanism. The other one does not. Not a small little details on this figure. I mean, you really got to look close on them because of the kind of drab color they have on them. But they really did go into the detail on them. Looks like another pistol in there somewhere. It's odd, but I'm guessing it's probably just from a previous mold or something. Or it might be something completely different, like another piece of kit that he carries around with him. Head... Full turn, not obstructed by anything. Uh, the beard is painted on, so not molded. Lighter color. Um, here in the hair, as you can see, he's got a little bit of a, you know, something pe peeking out here a little more. Considering the War Boys just did it, you know, fast and loose, I'd say it's a pretty good cut. Let's uh, set him down and take a look at the figure. Apparently on the set of this the, the film, uh, Tom Hardy really didn't get what they were trying to go with, what they were trying to do with the character. So him and Charlize Theron, who played Furiosa, kind of didn't get along too well. But after filming and after seeing the completed film, uh, Tom Hardy apologized, having seen exactly what the director had been going for all along. All in all, great figure. It's got just the right amount of detail we want. 
And, you know, of course, you know, it's got references to the original films. Great figure. If uh, you like the movie, I'd say it's a definite buy. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.